I'm here. Where are you? Is it the handsome Lannister guard? I'm pretty sure it's the coal boy, but that might be too obvious. <gasps> This time of night. I'm meeting someone. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Who is a knight? Enjoy your night. I will enjoy my night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. I like his accent. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. for him to pull out a flag and a serious I am wine. sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. Yelling. Throw the knife over into the ocean. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. Good luck. And be careful. Thanks. Just dragging your body all, right, sir. all the way to Flea Bottom. Throw the knife, you dummy. Damien, where are you? <laughs> Keeping it's probably a smart thing to do, but it's not what she would do in the heat of the moment.
What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asha for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady? She is pretty gorgeous. Roderick, I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you, but they're all I have. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this, it's something at least. So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right, but he is only a child. He feels forgotten, alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead, they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our land destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. They will take everything from us. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. You must protect them. It won't come to that. We will defeat them. War asks much of a man that he is not prepared to give. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. 
I never knew Burma. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task, like a lord. He would have been proud. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband. My love. And our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. Now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron, Iron from ice. From ice. From eyes, from eyes, we first is born. To eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to. Swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers pay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grabbed me from my mother's grasp to claim. Going on. Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? 
A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? Pretty exciting. Okay. So that was the end of episode two, The Lost Lords, and the preview for episode three. I don't know the title of that one. Uh, so let's see how I measure up to other people. Granted, this game just came out. I think I finished it an hour later than it was available. Or I started playing an hour after it was available, so I'm only uh, one of probably the first few thousand people to play. But me and 78.3 of other players didn't forge Marjorie's letter. I think that was the smart thing to do because, honestly, as helpful as that may have been, Marjorie would have found out. She would have been pissed. If it didn't have the seal, which I didn't have the seal to mark it with, then they may not have even believed it. Uh, plus, I had a feeling Roderick can handle the wedding thing on his own. Myself and 65.2% of players refused to kiss Lord Whitehill's ring. Again, I think that was really important for the wedding pact with the Glenmores. Uh, if I had kissed his ring, I think she would have seen that I was weak and she would have reported to their father. And granted, half of Iron Lord should be worth being able to kiss his ring. I honestly didn't think he would let Ryan come see anyways. And if he did, it would be to come join the funeral as a dead body. Myself and 40.9% of players won Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore. So most people failed this, I guess. Um, I think this is going to be very important later in the story, having the Glenmore support. Uh, and I'm kind of surprised that other people didn't do it. It didn't seem like that difficult of a challenge to me. Uh, I'm in the huge majority, 95.7% of players standing up for Cotter after he stole Finn's knife. I don't really like Cotter that much. Honestly, I'd much rather have Finn on my side because Finn seems like a better fighter and I want a brother who can protect me. Cotter doesn't seem like he could because he shot himself in the fucking foot. But uh, I also think Finn's a dick, so I was trying to stand up to him, hoping that he would respect me for that, but seems like he's just going to stay a dick. And then I'm in the slight majority killing Mira's attacker. Most people apparently just ran but I feel like as dumb as a mistake as it was for Mira I feel like it was the right thing to do not only to save the kid who saved her but also because if I hadn't killed him he'd still be out there and he would just kill me in my sleep clearly we know he can get into my room he would have just killed me in my bed or somewhere else in the future so doing this granted I still have a hit out on me I'm sure but doing this at least takes out one of the people and shows that I can stand up to fighters a little bit. But that was fun. I'm looking forward to episode three. From eyes, from eyes, we first is born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned May kings and queens melt down their crowns Up high on Aegon's hill In floods of gold I pray they drown For all the blood they spill
song. Alright, well that was end of episode two. We played as these four characters, Roderick, Asher, Mira, and uh, the Squire guy. I always forget his name. I'm not a big fan of him. And since he's the wall, I'm not a big fan of his story either. But uh, I enjoy this game so far. This episode was a little less exciting than the first one. But I also think that's to be expected. I do think it's going to go some great places, especially that scene with Asher in the cave in the preview for the next episode. That seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, I look forward to it. Not sure when it's out, but when it is, you can be sure I'll be playing the next episode of Game of Thrones, a Telltale game. <laughs>